morning everyone it's Sunday morning I'm still not a hundred percent over the uh, the stomach issues I explained in the other video um, but today is the final day of the opera festival slash the Spiegel tent and it's the annual uh, book fair in the Talbot Hotel it's the 51st year of the uh, book fair and ancient coins and antiquities so I wanted to you know make my way I'm gonna quickly go and show you this event see what it's like and what you can find when you come to Wexford during the Opera Festival slash Spiegel tent and coming to town and we'll show you what is available for you um, at the end of the Opera Festival and it's all usually at on the Sunday right before it all closes off so I'm gonna go into there now and I'll show you what's happening how are you good morning how's it going not too bad uh, it's a fiver is it or yeah, two two euros two euros you only have, you have change for 20. I surely do okay, and it's that's good value I thought it was a fiver <laughs> and I had to try to keep it affordable yeah. as possible you know thank you very much perfect thank you cheers hi how are you How are you? <clears throat> These are some old antiquities. That's not bad. 30 euros. Very reasonable. And then some more books. There's a couple of nice Guinness bits and pieces there if you're thinking Christmas presents. 25 euros, that's not bad. It's a real mishmash. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Hopefully the weather stays better. It's starting to rain a bit there too. And I think it's lovely this morning. Well, it lashed really hard for a bit, and then the sun came out yeah. for about an hour. So I think, I don't know, it's... We hit lucky then, so we had no rain when we were coming in. Uh, so. We're getting lamb, we're getting lambasted in the last week or two. And there's this and guy, so I don't You just don't know what to expect. Yeah. It's a cute little bank. 
some other things. So it's a big fish. 30 euros. Jesus. Nice. Very reasonable. They're unusual. Yeah. Very nice. As I said, I'll We'll be here for the day, believe me. <laughs> wow. It's the neat stuff. It's an old jacket. Yeah. Maybe we'll go back and revisit it at some stage. Eight euros. Not too bad for that. A Just make some pictures. There's a lot of books. <laughs> I just, I had two tea nights in a bag and I just um, thought I could put them out just to lift it, but they, they brightened up the light, so. Just to you there is white. <laughs> Oxford history. Squirty. Irish interests. <laughs> something. 
interesting. This is 1880s. And you don't really see Nepal. There's Tibet here, China, Mongolia, Turkestan, Afghanistan, India, no, pa no Pakistan, and no Nepal. Interesting. So lots of books and antiquities. The only thing that sort of caught my eye was that that penny bank. You know, like the you know, the cast iron one it's for thirty euros, which seems very reasonable. And I don't know if it's an original or if it's just a copy. But you know, the prices don't seem to be extraordinarily high. You know. Here's all the coins again there. Lucky okay. Denier, three euros. Your man on the front. Oh, there's a few of them there. Ten euro, ten denier, and five denier. That's the antique nuts, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'll walk around. I'll come back here. All right. How long have you been coming to the Wexford uh, Book Fair? Huh? I've been coming for about uh, 15 years. 15, yeah? When I'm from Wexford, like. So. Yeah. What's your most ex expensive coin? Um, That's a pretty. Uh, it's probably 300 euro ones there. Yeah. Um, the oldest stuff would be the most expensive stuff. Is the oldest stuff in any particular trade? It's not, no. They're, well, they're, they're basically in different trades, like, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like the hammers, as we call them. There's 200, yeah. Um, that's an Edward. Yes, uh, the first coin that ever had a harp on it is there. It's a Henry VIII. Here's a 250 that's euro one. one here. That's the first coin ever to have a harp on it. Henry yeah, VIII. That, yeah. Is a harp is, that is a harp as well. It's the first one to put a harp on a coin, yeah. He, um, he decided he called himself King of Ireland. Here's a tiny one. Here's a 300 euro one. And here's one for 275. Look at this. It's tiny. Some of those are. Look at that. Funny ish. That's a, that's, a, that's a farthing. Watford mint. Jeez, that's tiny. That's a, a halfpenny and a penny. They're Watford mints. They're yeah. made in the. They were made in the. Um, the Reginald's Tower and what. Hmm. That's really what I specialize in in the hammers, like. Yeah. Um, not the very old Phoenician and Judean and Roman. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Have you been coming to the uh the book fair off for a long time now? Me? Oh, yeah. It's the 51st year or something, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm certainly 20 years coming, if not more. Yeah. How's the football fins? I know it only opened at 11, no, but it's uh, quiet. Well, it's quiet so far, but that doesn't mean anything. No. Uh, most fairs in the countryside, most of them, yeah. are afternoon venues. Yeah. The, the purest collector comes in at 11, 
but the customers who come in and browse and pick up stuff and buy it the, come in after lunch. Uh, went, after they've eaten? After they've eaten. Are there any special coins here or just? Well, these are all central bank ones. They're all special. Yeah. And that's the famous Porrick Pierce 10 shilling coin, the only 10 shilling coin ever issued in Ireland. Oh, yeah? What's that go for? It's 35, it's solid silver. That's not bad, that's it's reasonable. Condition. Well, I collect American coins myself, yeah. pre-1900, but I sent away for a Silver Eagle this year, which is one ounce of solid silver with the Walk of Liberty on it. Yeah. Um, numismatically, not a very exciting coin, no. but beautifully produced. But it cost me 50 euros to get it here. Yeah, just the shipping? cost was the postage. Yeah. The coin was, say, 37 or 38, 39 dollars, because that's priced on the ounce of gold or the ounce of silver bullion price, if okay. you like. So that makes these ones good value. Kenya. They're all foreign notes, and yeah. these are some Irish. Um, Very cool. Well, thank you very much. Not at all. Irish Book Fairies. Belfast no is October 15th. Dublin is 23rd and 22nd of October. Wexford the 6th of November. And then Kilkenny is the 20th of November. So that's the uh, calendar for the book fairs in Ireland. And I gave her some steroids and said, uh, Oh, I don't know why you come here. I think I'd want to be shaving with that. So that was it. That was the book fair. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also uh, hit the bell button. So now I'm going to go outside and see if the rain stopped.